Hello Lector TV followers, welcome to a new video. Today we'd like to talk about the Pico W, an update of the Raspberry Pi Pico board, which was announced in 2022 by the Raspberry Pi Foundation. Lector published a new book by Dr. Professor Dogen Ibrahim about the Pico W. It will help you program, build and master over 60 projects with the wireless RP2040. In today's video, I'd like to give you an overview about the content of this book and how you can get the most out of it. So, let's get into it. The Pico W is based on the fast, efficient and low-cost dual-core ARM Cortex M0 Plus RP2040 microcontroller chip. The Pico W additionally includes an onboard Infinium Bluetooth and Wi-Fi chipset. This book is an introduction to using the Raspberry Pi Pico W in conjunction with MicroPython programming language. In the first chapter, you'll be looking at the hardware details of the Raspberry Pi Pico W microcontroller in some detail. A description of the hardware, the operating conditions and powering and the pinout of the Raspberry Pi Pico W are provided. Here is a simplified block diagram of the Pico hardware module. The Pico W accepts programming with the following programming languages C and C++, MicroPython and assembly language. In the second chapter of this book, you'll learn how to install and use the MicroPython programming language. You will be using the Tony Text Editor, which has been developed specifically for Python programming. In chapter 3, you will be developing simple hardware projects with the Raspberry Pi Pico using the Tony Text Editor. Amongst the projects are a flashing LED and a flashing SOS signal and much more. Displaying data is one of the fundamental output activities of any microcontroller system. Chapter 4 presents a multitasking approach to refresh the display digits so that the processor can carry out other tasks. In Chapter 5 you'll learn more about the communication over the I2C bus. You'll also learn about the Pico W I2C pins and you will learn how to develop a library of functions that can be used to control parallel LCDs. In chapter 6 you'll learn about the pulse rate modulation theory and you'll learn how to generate a PWM waveform. Many other projects are described in the following chapters, including data login projects, using Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and apps to communicate with smartphones. All projects are tried and tested. They can be implemented on both the Raspberry Pi Pico and the Pico W. Brief description, block diagram, detailed circuit diagrams and full MicroPython program listing are given for all the projects. The full program listings of all the projects discussed in the book may be downloaded free of charge on the Elector Store. The book is available in a printed version as well as an e-book. Thank you for watching today's video and see you next week!